The Indian Arjun tank is probably the longest developed tank in history. Despite the enormous amount of manpower and resources invested in it, its ranking among modern main battle tanks is not ideal. Many people even believe that its combat performance is worrying. However, if you think that the Arjun tank is the pinnacle of a negative example, then you are completely wrong. At least there is another tank that can compare to it, and that is the Swiss PZ-68 main battle tank, which even directly led to the resignation of the Minister of Defense. After World War II, Switzerland purchased a number of G-13 tanks to supplement its armored forces. The G-13 is actually a post-war production version of the tank destroyer Jagd Panzer 38. Its performance quickly became inadequate, so Switzerland planned to design and produce its own tanks in the 1950s, and the result was the PZ-61. The overall performance of the PZ-61 was quite good, similar to the Centurion tank of the same period. With the development of tank technology, Switzerland conducted a major upgrade of the PZ-61 and decided to purchase the upgraded model, which is the PZ-68 in 1968. These tanks were delivered from 1971 onwards. Switzerland can also manufacture tanks with advanced performance. This news immediately attracted the world's attention to Switzerland, and some countries began to contact Switzerland to plan to purchase tanks, including Austria. Speaking of the PZ-68 tank, it weighs 40.8 tons, is 9.49 meters long, 3.14 meters wide, and 2.72 meters high. The hull is made of rolled steel armor and the turret is cast. The thickest frontal armor is 120 millimeters. It is equipped with a 660 horsepower MTU MB837 BA500 V8 diesel engine which can reach a maximum speed of 55 kilometers per hour and a maximum range of 200 kilometers. The tank's main weapon is a 105 millimeter rifled gun, which was a standard equipment for Western tanks at that time. The tank carries 52 rounds of ammunition, as well as a 7.5 millimeter coaxial machine gun and smoke grenade launchers. At least from the surface data, the overall performance of the PZ-68 is average. As long as there are no reliability issues, it should be a qualified tank. In fact, Switzerland did promote it as such. In 1979, just when Austria became very interested in it, an article evaluating the PZ-68 tank was published in the magazine Weltwoche. The tank was criticized severely in the article. The reported tank defects mainly focused on some subsystems, as equipment like tank guns had been tested in actual combat. The PZ-68 has a three-defense system, which is designed to be over-pressure-based, meaning that the crew members do not need to wear additional equipment. They are protected by the pneumatic defense system as long as they stay inside the tank. However, the three defense system of the PZ-38 is insufficient, and if the crew members are operating in relevant environments, they still need to wear additional gas masks, which means returning to personal protection mode. The tank's gearbox has a fatal problem. It cannot quickly switch to reverse gear, and the tank needs to come to a complete stop before reversing. This defect is not conducive to tank combat operations. If the tank is delayed by two or three seconds in reversing during actual combat, it is likely to result in immediate destruction. The electrical equipment inside the tank is also a cause for concern. When the tank uses radio equipment, it interferes with the turret control system. It is not known what exactly is the problem between the two. Perhaps it is a problem with the internal power supply. Additionally, because some systems inside the tank share circuits, it brings about other problems, such as the main gun having a risk of accidental firing. This article was published at the request of the head of the Swiss Armored Forces. So the content of the article is authoritative. It is no wonder that the commander is so nervous when his subordinates are driving such a tank. In case of an accident, he would be the one to take the blame. This article caused a sensation as soon as it was published. Austria immediately gave up on purchasing the PZ-68, and the public could not tolerate spending a huge amount of money to produce such a tank. This matter quickly escalated, and then the Swiss Minister of Defense resigned. Although the PZ-68 is so disappointing, expensive tanks cannot be simply abandoned. 
Before this incident, it had undergone two upgrades, becoming the PZ-68AA2 and PZ-68-75, respectively. In 1993, all tanks were upgraded to the PZ-6888. In the 1980s, there was also a plan for the PZ-68-2000, aiming to completely modify the tank's defects and upgrade the gun to a 120mm smoothbore gun. However, it was not successful in the end. These tanks in the hands of Switzerland were all retired around the turn of the century. They once wanted to sell 200 of them to Thailand, but Thailand did not buy into it. 